Hi, I'm Martin Blazer, and I'm the author of Missing Microbes. In present in the United States and in other developed countries, it's very expensive to develop a new drug. Uh, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars or more. And so the drug companies are looking for drugs that they can give to millions of people every day for years or for people's whole life. Those are the drugs uh, that are going to be profitable, that they can recoup their costs. But the development of a drug that is useful for a few thousand people and that um, is only going to be used for two weeks or three weeks, uh, the, the market size is very small. And that refers really to the development of new antibiotics. And in the past, the pharmaceutical industry was able to keep up by creating new antibiotics. But in recent years, the pipeline has been running dry. It's been running dry in part because there's a the expense of developing new drugs is very high. And for the pharmaceutical makers, the development of a new antibiotic is, is actually a very small market. It's only perhaps a few thousand people need the new antibiotic every year, and they'll just take it for a few weeks. They have their eyes set on drugs that millions of people are going to take every day to treat their diabetes or their heart disease or, or their asthma. So the incentives are all in the wrong direction. The other important factor is that since the birth of antibiotics, we've been trying to create broad-spectrum antibiotics, antibiotics that are good not against just single organisms, but whole groups of organisms. So if somebody comes to their doctor with an earache or pneumonia, we know that giving a certain antibiotic will cover all the likely suspects. The problem with broad-spectrum antibiotics is that they cause a lot of collateral damage. Not only are they treating the bacteria that is the target, but they're having an effect on the microbiome. And so in my book, I predict and I urge the creation of narrow-spectrum antibiotics, antibiotics that will just focus on single organisms. And those will be useful when we can have the diagnostics that will say that when a child has an ear infection, they have the infection due to a virus or to a bacteria. And if it's a bacteria, which bacteria? We have a lot of the technologies available now, but they're not widely used because they're expensive. So we have to change our economic model. We have to change the incentives so that the diagnostics are affordable, so that the narrow spectrum antibiotics can be used, and so that we can avoid the collateral damage. I think that's what the future of medicine is going to be like. And parents, once they're educated, will say, why, are you, why should my child have a broad-spectrum antibiotic, which is going to cause collateral damage and may increase their risk of disease? Why don't we treat their infection with something that's absolutely targeted? So I think that's going to be an important new direction for the pharmaceutical industry. And that will have to involve a big change in our economic policies to make those drugs, which are a social good, uh, make our tax dollars pay for that. So we can pay for the narrow antibiotics now, and we can pay extra, or we can pay later in the clinic. And I think it's much better to pay now.